I just feel like Nigerians have a lot to learn, mm. like based on yeah. like educating themselves as well, okay. because uh, they think they actually think that people like me are faking it, like doing it for attention and all of that. Okay. But like that's just not it. It's who I am. Like I've always like I've known right from, right from when I was a kid, but I was shy about it. But like now that I'm old, I'm, I grew up. Like it just literally became like part of me, and I'm like. If nobody's accepting of this, I should accept myself. I get because it. at first I was totally like not accepting myself. Yeah. But then I traveled and I came back, so it's like, okay, like it's whatever it is. Like if Nigerians don't understand what's going on, just don't do it for them. I just feel like I do it for myself just so I could feel happy. I would say they're denial because like they're just a lot of things. Like I've been in so many fights. Physical and all physical, like so many, like I mean, we police men. Wow. And like, I just like, <laughs> like it's just a lot to take in because like, you're doing your thing, like, and all of a sudden one person's attacking you. Like anywhere I go, I get like, I get like attacked. I would say like they have like a lot to educate about like the whole LGBTQ because I not like we're not faking it. We're actually not speaking it. It's what, it's what like, like how would you tell like? Because like it's a thing of, it's a thing of like, as I I go out, yeah. Is I go out like I literally, I'm asked, am I a boy, a girl, this that that that. Like I don't even know what to answer. I'm, I just say, like, like sometimes I even say, yeah, I'm a girl, because it's not, <laughs> it's actually it. not <laughs> their I mean, business. Done that, right? Like you understand. So like I actually just say that based on like yeah I'll tell them like whatever they want to hear just yeah. so they can talk about me this that like before I used to feel so bad about it but it. now it's like I just need to like show more of myself. Nigerians are in clear denial. You cannot tell me that. Not, yes, they're aware. But just like, like I said. But like being aware and being in denial is two different things. Sure. You can be aware of something, but I'm, you can I'm, still be like yeah. oblivious. That's to exactly. That thing. I think that's. And what why I, I say is that why I say Nigerians are denial because you can't tell me that if you're really like open to the whole LGBTQ community, okay. why would you be implementing a law? To be more specific, um, the same-sex marriage pro prohibition law was mm -hmm. literally implemented on the seventh of January. 2014 by good luck jonathan and this law basically imposes a 14-year sentence to anyone who enters into a same-sex marriage contract or civil union and 10 years imprisonment okay. for any individuals or groups including religious leaders who witness a best or aid in solemnization of same-sex marriage or union and so to me it's like you're saying that Nigerians are not in denial, but yet they're literally implementing a law that literally goes against basic human rights. You can't tell me that because somebody or somebody has a preference in something that you want to punish them for that. I mean, like, it literally undermines basic universal freedoms that Nigerians have long fought for and that, they, that, that they've long fought for to have. Like, it's crazy to me because it's inhumane. It's very long and very wrong. Okay. It goes against basic <laughs> human rights. Wow. I mean, like, we as humans are not allowed to judge other humans. I mean, like, even if you want to bring the case of religion into it, I mean, God clearly said, do not judge. You literally have to be accepting of everyone, no matter what it is. So uh -huh. you judging doesn't make you any better, bro. Like, you're not making it an open community for people to, for people to be free. Nigeria are not in denial of this. Both cultural and both constitutional, they are not in denial. And that's why I'm coming back to say that the LGBTQ are the ones that are in denial, thinking that one day, one day, you would fight for your rights and come out to say that, okay, Nigeria has to come to, to terms with it. If it's that easy, why don't they all come together, go out on the streets and do a protest? Really? I, you know, I'm coming somewhere. Really I'm coming somewhere. So I'm coming somewhere. No, you, you sound so You can't ignorant. say I'm sounding ignorant. You, sound I am so ignorant. you can never say I'm sounding ignorant. Let me give it to you again that I'm not sounding ignorant. Uh, now, since uh, uh, Ugu DK literally went on Twitter and said, why is there still no pride in Nigeria? Why are you guys not proud of yourself? If it's if it's about okay, then in denial. It's a thing of they know you know very well that the moment you step out there in public, you right you're okay to do whatever you're doing in private. That's mm. nobody's business. It's not the concern of anybody. But the moment you step out there in public, the worry the worry story will give you an example of it. 
the moment you are going straight, they won't even have a conversation with you. I mean, You're going straight up. <laughs>